John here guys, and today we're talking about the Ender 3 V2, the new successor to the super popular budget entry level 3D printer that has all the features that you need in order to print really cool models or really cool flexible filaments for FPV or any variety of hobbies. I've been printing like mad. I currently have two Ender 3s, but we're gonna help you answer the question if you wanna start printing or if you already have an Ender 3, is it worth it for you to start with the stock model or go up to the V2 model or go with the Pro, which is now gonna fall right in the middle. And I'm here to tell you, I've already pre-ordered my V2. It's gonna be here on the way. And here are all the different features that are gonna be upgraded. And I'm gonna assign a dollar value to each one to help you determine whether it's worth it for your needs. Now, of course, at first glance, it does look very cool because they have moved the power supply and integrated it into the unit. It looks much cooler, much neater, but we're only gonna be focusing today on the upgrades that are actually going to help your prints, help it be easier for you to print or give you a greater print quality. So first off, we're gonna cover that it is gonna come with the upgraded silent board with upgraded stepper drivers. This is a substantial upgrade. One of the biggest complaints when you first get a 3D printer is how loud it is. If you are printing and you have a family you've likely gotten multiple complaints about this. So I just covered um, upgrading the to the silent board in your Ender 3. That costs you about 30 bucks. The Ender version I, is actually a little bit more, but I'm gonna say 30 bucks because the Big Tree Tech um, 1.2, I'll leave the link to that video right here, is what I consider the better version and it's only 30 bucks. So 30 bucks right there. Next, they have a new screen interface. Now it's not a touch screen interface, but it is a nice um, screen interface. That is gonna be about 30 bucks, but we're not gonna factor that in because the stock inter three, you know, user interface is totally fine. It works totally good. If that's something that matters to you, then factor $30 here, but we're not going to in this calculation. Next, they have a new heating element enclosure. That just means a different design of the hot end. I'm gonna assign zero dollars to that because I have a upgraded hot end on my other Ender 3 that I do modifications to and I printed that, the designs on Thingiverse, you can have that for free. I'll leave the link to that in the description. Next, you have a smart filament sensor and resume printing. That will stop your printer if for whatever reason you run out of filament. That is actually a pretty nice feature to have. It's only about a $5 sensor, but we're gonna add five bucks there. Next, we have um, X and Y axis belt tensioners. That is a convenient feature because you can always make sure that your belts are tight. The tighter your belts, the cleaner your prints are gonna be, the less drift you're gonna have in your axes, and your prints are gonna be a little bit cleaner and a little bit high quality. You have to buy those if you wanna add the ability to tension those belts to the stock Ender 3 or the Ender 3 Pro. So we're gonna assign $10 value to that because that's what it would cost you to upgrade your other Ender 3s. Next, we are going to cover the fact that it has moved the that power supply and it now has a little tool tray underneath. That is a zero dollar feature, but it is nice to have. You can print one for your stock Ender 3 pretty easily, so I'm not gonna assign any value to that. And then finally, we have the glass bed. This is a nice feature. I only print on glass. I know what's going through your mind right now. I used to have the CR10 that had glass. I really enjoyed printing on that much more than the other design services that come there. That's a $20 upgrade. So if you add up $30 for the silent board, $20 for the glass, $5 for the filament sensor, $10 for the tensioners, that adds up to $65. Now, if you consider the touchscreen something that you really want, then you can go ahead and add another $30. So we'll say 65 to $95. That is the price difference. The price of these printers fluctuates a lot. So instead of saying it's worth it or it's not worth it, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that the V2 is easily worth $65 to $95 more. So if when you're shopping right now, the stock one is about $200, the Pro is about 220, 230, 
and the v2 is on pre-order right now for 259 so since the difference is less than that 65 dollars i would go ahead and recommend pre-ordering the v2 it should be shipping fairly soon uh, but if you find a deal for somebody selling one for less and the price difference is more than that you want to you may want to go ahead and get the other enders if you already have an ender 3 you can do all of the upgrades mentioned for the amount listed so you don't have to get rid of your ender 3 and move to the Ender 3 V2. If you wanna have two printers, I really enjoy having two printers, especially when I'm printing different projects at once or I'm printing something with a lot of pieces like the T-Rex model that I put together recently or this model from the Robocop franchise, the Ed 209. Um, it's really nice to have be able, two printers and move your projects along at double the speed. So if you wanna do that, go ahead and jump in and buy one. But if you have a stock Ender 3, you can do all the upgrades yourself. Hopefully this helps. Leave me a comment below if you are thinking about getting into printing or if you're considering what your second printer should be. Did this help you make decisions? Do you want to see more 3D printing topics? And what else would you like to see next? Thanks, guys.